I want to show you the monthly chart of Bitcoin and uh, let's jump over to that. Actually, I did have it pulled up here. Uh, right here, you guys. Okay, so um, what this shows, look at this giant green candle. For one, we have, you know, we have seen those in the past, but not since back here in the beginning of the bull run. But the reason I think that we could see a pullback in March is we've had six candles. This, you know, the, this we've had six candles on a monthly basis. Very rare. We only saw that on this bull run. And then in the prior cycles, we've seen pullbacks along the way, although minor. If we go back to the 2017 bull run, we had one, two, three, four, five, six green candles on the monthly time frame. And then we had a red candle, which pulled back. It did pull back to this level and then bounced. And then we continued the bull run. So that is what I am expecting here as well. As far as the total market cap, let me jump over to that quickly and show you why we've been watching this and uh, why we should pay attention. A lot of sell pressure up in these levels. And I had drawn this path to $2 trillion market cap weeks ago. Of course, it's happened much faster. Part of this is a short squeeze, liquidating those shorts, $300, $400 million in short liquidation certainly contributed, as well as the ETF money pouring into this market. Uh, these round numbers typically very important for Bitcoin. Again, that $3 trillion market top, that was the exact top of the last cycle. And of course, we had the $1 trillion level that we struggled with all the way back in here as support, resistance, and support, and support finally broke up. For some reason, the $2 trillion is not as sticky. It's more like this $2 trillion level where we have pushed right above this, but on a monthly time frame, we haven't yet. So that could still sell off. If I move this up here, of course, $2 trillion, right around $2 trillion was this strong resistance back here. We did blow through it, but uh, we, you know, on a weekly time frame, the week hasn't closed yet. So this could certainly sell off back to this $2.2 .2 trillion level.